two comebacks. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. We have no quarrel with your people. An ant has no quarrel with a boot. You planning to step on us? We're trespassing in this city and on this planet. It means get lost, Squidward. For this list, we'll be looking at times our favorite heroes use their words instead of their superhuman abilities to get back at their enemies. What are your favorite verbal clapbacks in the MCU? Any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Thor's superb and sad boast. Avengers Infinity War. You sure you're up to this particular motor mission? Absolutely. Thor was left in a desperate state after his people and brother were decimated by Thanos. We truly see the depth of his trauma when Rocket leads the God of Thunder on a mission. Although the Guardian doesn't normally talk about feelings, he reaches out to a depressed Thor. During their pep talk, Rocket asks the God of Thunder if he's ready for another bout with the Mad Titan. Thor throws out a quick and cocky response. Yeah, but I mean, this Thanos we're talking about, he's the toughest there is. <laughs> well, he's never fought me. Yeah, he has. He's never fought me twice. <laughs> Although his words are funny, there's a deep layer of sadness and doubt underneath all his bravado. Over the span of one comeback, we see that the once bold warrior has been truly shaken by his recent losses. Well, if I'm wrong, then what more could I lose? Number 9. Rocket Roasts the Ravager's New Leader Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Rocket is perhaps the most savage member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. You smiled, and for a second I got a warm feeling, but then it was ruined by those disgusting-ass teeth. He takes what he wants, says what he wants, and laughs at everyone for not being as smart as him. So when he got kidnapped by the Ravagers, we expected him to come up with something great. Rocket rewards us with a series of verbal smackdowns when he's kidnapped by the mutinous Ravagers. While he's securely tied up, their new leader announces his name is Taserface. Our favorite sarcastic raccoon can't resist immediately making fun of the ridiculous moniker. I just keep imagining you waking up in the morning, sir, looking in the mirror, and in all seriousness saying to yourself, You know what would be a really kick ass name? Taserface! <laughs> That's how I hear you in my head! Rocket's commitment to throwing out continuous insults while being held hostage is impressive and hilarious. Number 8. Cap's Catchphrase Captain America The First Avenger Given the moral quality of Captain America, you don't expect him to say anything rude. In fact, he unconsciously shuns anyone who swears in Avengers Age of Ultron. Wait a second, no one else is going to deal with the fact that Cap just said language? I know. Just slipped out. But Steve still came up with one of the greatest comebacks in the MCU without being disrespectful. We first see him say this phrase when he's still a scrawny kid from Brooklyn facing down an intimidating man. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I can do this all day. While Steve's words didn't seem like much then, they take on much more significance when he suits up. He drops this catchphrase when he's really backed into a corner. I can do this all day. Oh, of course you can, of course. At one point, Steve even said it to his future self. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. The phrase is a brilliant extension of Roger's constant effort to be a good man who never gives up. Number 7. Dissing the Council's Decision, The Avengers You're dealing with forces you can't control. You ever been in a war, Councilman? In a firefight, did you feel an overabundance of control? Nick Fury has a tough job as director of S.H.I.E.L.D. He has to wrangle uncooperative superheroes, manage tense situations on the ground, and deal with higher-ups going over his head. But although he answers to someone at the end of the day, he's not afraid to speak his mind. In one scene, the World Security Council decides the best way to stop the Chitauri invasion of New York is to nuke Manhattan. 
but Nick Fury rejects their decision with a blistering insult. The council has made a decision. I recognize the council has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. Dealing with oblivious supervisors is something we can all relate to, so we love Nick Fury standing up to his bosses. He verbally shoots the plan down before literally shooting at one of the planes the council authorized. Number 6. Making an Omelette – Avengers Age of Ultron Is that why you've come? To end the Avengers? I've come to save the world. But also… yeah. Meant to be an artificial intelligence that could protect the world, Ultron was to be Iron Man's crowning achievement. And since it was made by Stark, it makes sense that the evil robot would inherit some of his wit. As Ultron goes rogue and begins gathering what he needs to take down the Avengers, his sophisticated but arrogant demeanor gets him compared to his creator. Tony Stark used to say that to me. You're one of his. What? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Although he doesn't like the comparison, he can't seem to get away from it. This is clear moments later, when Earth's mightiest heroes, including Stark, crash the party. Ultron can't help making a witty and memorable remark about eggs right before his creator could. Nobody has to break anything. Clearly you've never made an omelet. You beat me by one second. Number 5. Shakespeare in the Park – The Avengers Make a move, reindeer games. No one is safe from Tony's epic wit, even in the most serious of situations. As Iron Man and Captain America attempt to bring Loki back to Nick Fury, they're interrupted by Thor. After the God of Thunder steals his brother away, Stark immediately follows the Asgardians. He interrupts the brotherly heart-to-heart -heart and starts to get on Thor's nerves. Before the two trade blows, Iron Man brings the God of Thunder down to Earth a bit with a verbal smackdown. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, Shakespeare in the Park? Doth Mother know you weareth her drapes? Making fun of Thor's speech pattern with a Shakespeare reference is now a classic MCU line. It was also a great preview of Tony's many Avengers-oriented insults. No hard feelings, Point Break. You got a mean swing. Number 4. Taking Out the Trash – Iron Man Your eyes are red. A few tears for your long-lost boss? Tears of joy. I hate job hunting. Most of the time, we're expecting the main heroes to be handing out fatal burns, but Pepper Potts shows us you don't have to be a superhero to be a badass wordsmith. Before she married Tony or ran Stark Industries, she was his assistant. Potts was often matching wits with the soon-to-be armored Avenger while trying to keep him on schedule. But I could fire you if I had to take the edge off. I don't. I actually don't think that you could tie your shoes without me. But when working for someone this eccentric, you may have to go a bit beyond the job description. One of these duties is making sure the late-night guests he brings back are taken care of. A reporter Tony spends the night with tries to take a shot at Miss Potts, but Pepper absolutely eviscerates her with a fiery response. After all these years, Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. I do anything and everything that Mr. Sark requires, including occasionally taking out the trash. Will that be all? Number 3. Thor's Brainy Brag – Team Thor Part 2 Costume for battles. Little Mjolnir over here taking a nap. <laughs> a little bit of something I've been roasting in the sun for a number of weeks now, and it's almost ready. Delicious. Thor's character took a turn in a more comedic direction after Thor The Dark World. One of our first chances to see his funny side came in the Team Thor trailers. While his allies were fighting in Civil War, the Asgardian was apparently messing with his roommate Daryl. While not necessarily canon, he gets up to plenty of shenanigans like visiting schools, theorizing about the Infinity Stones, meeting up with Bruce, and getting ghosted by his fellow Avengers. What? Here, talk to Thor. Yeah. He's sort of been waiting to hear from you. I have him right here. Oh, you can't right now? Okay. After his roommate Daryl suggests Thor gets a job, the God of Thunder then drops a cocky comeback. You might need to think about getting a, getting a job. <laughs> Get a job? Serious? Yeah. I have a job. Do you know what my job is? I save the planet. Yeah. 
Maybe you should get a job. The Avenger continues to school the man with a funny take on brains. Daryl probably wishes he kept his mouth shut after Thor's hilarious tirade. The brain is a muscle, and that's a muscle, and that's a muscle, and they are all muscles, this is all muscle, so I am covered in brains, and I have more brains than you. Number 2. I'll Do You One Better – Avengers Infinity War Each actor in the MCU cast brings their own special talents and methods to their roles. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still. That I'd become invisible to the eye. Dave Bautista, in particular, seems like an expert in improvisation, and as Drax, he's the king of naive and oblivious dialogue. He immediately cranked out tons of witty retorts in his first appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy. His people are completely literal. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. But perhaps the greatest comeback from our muscle-bound destroyer came in Infinity War, when the Guardians fought Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. As Star-Lord begins demanding answers from what he thinks is Thanos' lackeys, a hilarious back and forth ensues. Batista chimed in with a perfectly improvised line that left us in stitches and spawned many memes. I'm gonna ask you this one time. Where is Gamora? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Black Falcon, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Sam educates some kids. No, no. My daddy told me it's Black Falcon. Is it because I'm black and I'm the Falcon? Well, technically, I mean, yes. So are you, like, black kid? Only If I Die – Avengers Infinity War During Thor's bold boast, he seemingly forgets how death works. You understand, boy? You're about to take the full force of a star. It'll kill you. Only if I die? <laughs> yes. That's what killing you means. That's a crown? Thor Ragnarok. The God of Thunder deals a burn to the fire demon Surtur about his appearance. This is my crown, the source of my power! Oh, that's a crown. I thought it was a big eyebrow. It's a crown! Born Yesterday, Avengers Age of Ultron. Vision deflects Ultron's cynical views. You're unbearably naive. Well, I was born yesterday. Puny God, The Avengers. Loki gets put in his place. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. 